today I'm going to show you a fun little tutorial of how to create this really easy watercolor lettering style digitally. So as you can see, we have my calligraphy here, and then um, it looks like it's been done in watercolor because you've got all this really nice variation in the color of these letters. It's actually super simple to do. I don't really letter often with actual watercolors, so if you like me, don't prefer that, but still want to achieve this look, then I'm going to show you how to do that. And you can do this with your calligraphy or with regular fonts, um, shapes, anything that you want. I'm going to show you with my calligraphy and we have another tutorial that I'll link here about vectorizing your calligraphy. So if you um, have trouble doing that, go ahead and check out that tutorial. It's a really good one. So we've started with um, share the love over here. We keep all of our calligraphy elements and words in this file, calligraphy elements and words, just in case we ever need them for any reason. So we have like, welcome party, kindly reply, please find your seat, things that we use a lot. And then we even keep names and stuff in here. So I went ahead and chose this thank you phrase and brought it over here. Again, you can do this with text if you'd like. So if you wanted to do something with a font, You could do that as well. The only thing that you need to do is before you add the watercoloring effect, you will need to create outlines with the font. This is one of my favorite fonts that I'll link below called Melanie. So I'm gonna use my calligraphy. We've got this here. It's, it's grouped together, which you'll wanna do. It's not grouped together. <laughs> we'll group it together. And then usually you're gonna also wanna go to object Compound path, make. So that just makes it all one unit. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click file, place, and we've already got it on a folder with a bunch of our abstract watercolor backgrounds. We got these from Creative Market, which we'll link below. It's our favorite place to get things like backgrounds, um, stock art elements, etc. So these are just really fun and colorful. Um, we use this purple one on the, uh, this purple one on the last piece. I think I want to use this kind of cool green and yellow one for this piece. So we're just going to put that here. And the secret with this is that the watercolor background needs to be in the back. So you're going to go arrange, send to back so that you can see your lettering on top. And then you're just going to select both objects, click object, clipping mask, make. And what that does is it takes the top object and basically clips that shape to the bottom object. So I'm just gonna release that and then show you again. Clipping mask, make. So now we've got a cool watercolor effect. There's not quite as much variation as I want. Like we didn't get any of those blues. So if you wanna move it around, what you do is you just select this here. And up here, um, this one is the clipping path, which will be thank you. And then this is the contents, which as you'll see, if you click that, it gives you that whole watercolor piece. So I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller so that hopefully we get a little bit more variation there. And you just kind of play with it until you get what you like. And you can move it around so we get more blue over there in the corners until you find something that you like. So if you click on this, and then you can always make it bigger, do whatever you want to afterward. So see how easy that is? And I'm just gonna go ahead and release Clipping Mask, and then do it with a different type of background. So you'll see the thank you is no longer black. <laughs> there we go, that's helpful. Let's choose a different type of background. Okay, so these are pretty crazy here. We'll go ahead and send it to the back. Select all of that, object, clipping mask, make. That's pretty cool. So here's another one I got from Creative Market. You can paint these yourself, you can use things that you bought. I love how this kind of like fades out toward the edges that still gives you 
the overall shape of the letter. So you can use these in a lot of really cool ways. Um, and we'll move this around just to try to get a little bit more in there. So I love how you can use pretty much anything for the background here. Um, this is a great way to print watercolor lettering without um, having to digitize your watercolors or worry about edges getting lost or messy or anything when you're lettering with watercolor. I find that it's not really my specialty, so I prefer to use this trick, which has a little bit more of a modern feel to it. So let me know what you thought of this quick and simple tutorial or if you have any questions on using clipping masks or making this watercolor effect, we will link our favorite place to buy those that we've been talking about below, as well as our YouTube video on vectorizing your calligraphy in case you need help with that as well. And make sure you subscribe to the doorbell channel for notifications on when we post new tutorials. Thanks everyone.